guys Zinigami here and let's go through the complete chaos difficulty killer coliseum on the global version of one piece treasure cruise round one is gonna be versus mr five mr five is a strength character he has only 1.8 million hit points he'll attack every other turn for 7,000 damage what he'll do is he'll give you all bomb orbs every single turn and he'll also make perfects harder to hit for 10 turns. If you have a special that makes perfects easier to hit, such as 3-day um, 2-year Luffy, the blue 3-day 2-year Luffy, his special makes perfects easier to hit. If you use that special, then it will basically cancel out and your perfects will be uh, regular timing to hit. But I'm going to be using a Anel and Cavendish team. One Anel, one Cavendish. There we go. Anel lets us stall for very very easily for the first few stages and then we're gonna be using a Nell and Kuma specials together to give us matching orbs boosted orbs and kill all the dudes in a single turn mr. five has 1.8 million hit points he's got five dudes around him you can delay him so you can bring gold on Usopp or any other delayer that you'd like he also rewinds specials oh uh, forgot about that one That's fine. Uh, he rewinds specials. That's why we wanted to bring a delayer. Uh, we're just going to take the time and kill all the dudes on the outside before doing our burst. So we're just going to attack everyone out here. Make sure you hit perfects. Even though they are going to be hard to hit for 10 turns. And after I get my Kuma special again, then we'll, uh, then we'll burst. Not too worried about damage since we'll have a Nell Captain so we can heal up a lot of the damage. There we go. Yay, missing perfects. All good. Good stuff. Take a hit from Mr. Five for 7,000 damage. Give me more bombs. I'll use Kizaru special here. Remember that bonds will deal 10% of your maximum health damage. And they can kill you if you miss enough perfects. But if it's a turn that you're... If it's a final turn. So this will be the final turn here. If you're bursting on the final turn. Then you will not die. Or if you have some bombs here and you take some hits from bombs on the final turn. You will not die to the bombs. Bombs will not blow up on your very, very final turn. Cool. Don't forget about that uh, special rewind. Whoopsies. Round two versus Kiwi and Mozu. Kiwi and Mozu are both side characters. They only have 1.5 million hit points each. They will have a damage threshold for 500,000 damage, so they greatly reduce damage taken over 500,000 damage. But we'll be going to be using a Intimi Hawk and Doflamingo slasher team. The reason we're going to be using Doflamingo is because since we can only deal basically about 150,000 damage per, uh, only 500,000 damage per turn, we are going to use Dofi for some extra health. And into Mihawk friend, because we had to kill both of them on the same turn, and uh, if you only kill one of them, the other one will revive them. So we're going to DPS them equally and then kill them both at the same turn using in Mihawk specials and regular attacks. Kiwi and Mozu will preemptively attack you for 3,140 damage. They'll also shuffle your orbs, so don't worry about manipulating your orbs on stage 4. They're going to get that 500,000 damage threshold, so they greatly reduce the damage taken over 500,000 damage. Now we're using Mihawk special to do a health cut. Remember that percent health damage is not is ignored by the, uh, or ignores the damage threshold, but only 1.5 million hit points, so it's not that bad. They can still be delayed, so you can use stuff like Mr. 3, Golden Pound, Usopp, whatever you'd like. And we're going to punch them kind of equally. We're going to get them both kind of low. And then we're going to use Do uh, Dose Mingo Special and Hancock Special and do a big burst turn. Do a lot of damage to them. And then after that, we are going to be using Int Mihawk Special to finish them off at the same time. Because if you leave one of them alive, it will revive the other one at full health, even if they are delayed. I'm going to punch this one just a wee bit lower. And whenever you're bursting, be very careful that you don't accidentally kill one of them. 
So Croc Special will also help you move your orbs or get different orbs if you need it. That's some um, poopsy orbs. Do I want to burst? You know, we'll burst. I think I don't want to. I don't want to kill one of them accidentally, like like I have before. So I'll move that. Move that. And with Hancock Special, it doesn't really matter what order you attack me in after your first attack. I'm gonna hit a great. Okay, good. Whew! Close. And then Int Mihawk Special will take him out. There you go. Just be careful to not accidentally kill one. You can also use 6 star Blackbeard if you want to burst them down by ignoring the damage threshold. Uh, but Doflamingo Int Mihawk Slashers works very well as well. Round 3 versus Bluno. Bluno is an Int character. He has 3.6 million hit points and he will attack every 3 turns. He attacks every 3 turns uh, for his regular attack and also the first attack is going to be for an additional 15,000 damage. So we're going to be using Mirage Temple Nami to negate that first attack. He also greatly boosts his defense so we're going to be using a 6 star Shanks Friend Captain, Shanks Guild to Sorrel. Cerebral Driven Psy Team. Uh, and we will be using Shanks to reduce his defense on the turn that we're going to be boosting. Using Mirage Temple Nami to eat that first attack from him to give us a few more turns to attack him down. Bluno will preemptively shuffle your orbs. He'll also... Oh, that was weird. I didn't expect him to look like that at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> he'll also prevent debuffs to himself for 10 turns. And boost his defense for two turns. So we're going to... I uh, prevent delay. Sorry, not debuff. Just delay. Uh, so we're going to just take the first hit from him. Attacking him a bunch of times. Let's see. Over on the right side of the screen, I'll have an estimate of how much his defense is. Let's see. Nil matching orbs hits for about 60,000. It should hit for about 200,000. Yeah, just under 200,000. Mirage Temple Nami, the first attack from him. Don't need to take that damage. This attack would be his regular attack of 12,000 damage in addition to Another 15,000 damage from a special, so very good to completely negate that first attack. And we can start Bertram now here. Below 20%, if you leave him alive below 20%, he'll boost his defense for two turns. So another greatly uh, boosted defense. This turn, I'm going to just attack through this turn. I could Kobe, I could Kobe Shanks and burst over two turns here. Yeah, let's, let's burst over two turns here. This is actually pretty good. So we'll use Shanks to negate his defense for two turns. Mirage, uh, Momonga to boost our cerebral characters. Kobe to boost over two turns. With the upcoming boost over two turns. Forest on Global, how would you rank it in difficulty? I need that ship for my Fuji team. Dofi Forest is hard. Thanks for that dollar tip. And we're going to get him low, probably around 30%. There we go. Second turn, impact out Usopp. We still have Kobe's orb boost. Guilt of Sword gives us guaranteed matching orbs. Might as well use it down Sunny because we have it. And then now it's easy to finish off. With our orbs boosted, we actually can deal about 2.8 uh, million. So you can do most of his health with a single burst, even if you only use Guilt of Sorrow. Kobe, impact out Usopp for a single turn burst. Round four is Gumby versus Kid. Kid is a quick character. He has 4.5 million hit points. He'll have a two hit perfect barrier and cannot be killed or delayed for the first four turns. So we're gonna be using a Blackbeard Zoros team. Zoros? Blackbeard Zoro Dex team. Uh, Perona is not gonna be used for defense reduction because Perona does defense reduction does not work with Blackbeard. What we will be using Perona for, however, is to poison him so that way we can use Perona to finish him off uh, even whenever he has his endurance buff up. Kid is going to give us all empty orbs and he's gonna have a two hit perfect berry. Can't be killed for four turns and will uh, prevent delay for four turns. 
Gonna be using Blackbeard special turn one and the uh, Salvo special right after that. His first attack is going to cut our health in half. And then after that, he'll attack for 4,500 damage. Remember that Perona does not reduce damage on this team because we have Blackbeard Captain. Perona is only going to be there to um, poison him so that way it kills him on that attack. So here's going to be a health, half health cut that we can still take one more attack from him. All badly matching orbs. If you have someone who changes red orbs into, matching, uh, into green orbs or matching orbs, that is great, or uh, I don't know, maybe like a six star character that likes red orbs. Mm, that'd be a good team to use against this one. And here we'll get a single matching orb, I guess. Uh, use all our specials we gotta kill on this turn. Double finger to boost our attack. Dolphmingo to move orbs around. Perona to poison him and also reduces defense to zero. That defense reduction doesn't really matter much. It's only the poison that we're looking for. Hit our perfects. Get them down to one HP. And then the poison will kill him. There you go. Now, if you get more orbs, that's even easier. If you uh, don't get any orbs, you just, you just need one at least. But if you have more orbs, it'll be even easier. And the final stage killer is gonna be much harder than any of the other stages. On stage 4, we're going to have Kid. Kid this time only has 2.3 million hit points and will no longer empty out your orbs on his preemptive attack. So you can manipulate your orbs on stage 3 before going into her to get a little bit more damage. This first team we're going to be looking at is going to be a double Enel semi-zombie team. You can use a uh, just standard zombie team if you want to do so. Uh, but with the double Enel version, we're going to be bringing Sabo because Sabo is going to speed up our uh, not only our fight versus Kid, but also going to let us kill Killer once he revives. Uh, if you have a Shiryu sub, you can use a Shiryu sub just fine, or you can use like a Brook powerhouse ship uh, Tom's rocket man ship to get you through this fight against kid for the first four turns he's barely going to do any damage to you with double anel with max recovery socket he should be healing up for plenty after that he'll start boosting his attack to 6500 but you can use golem punk usopp to delay him so anytime he starts even getting close to getting damage on you just use golem punk usopp and delay him gonna skip a little bit of time and once we get him lower we're gonna use sabo special to avoid his below 30 percent attack now you should be have enough health to take a hit or two below 30%, but it's just going to be easier to avoid that in its entirety. When you get to kill, or kill is going to cut your health by half. He has 3.1 million hit points. He'll shuffle all your orbs. He can give you block orbs. And he'll attack every turn for 5,900 damage, so just under 6,000 damage. He doesn't do anything based off his health. So if you're using a standard team, you can get him as low as you like without having to worry. But once he dies, he will revive, healing up to 10% of his health. He'll give you all strength orbs, and he'll lower your attack by 95% for 5 turns. Versus Killer, it's very, very easy to stay alive versus him. Hancock will let us delay for a turn. Golem Hot Usopp will let us delay. Alvito to reduce damage. And uh, you can either replace like Hancock or Alvita for someone to help you deal more damage or you can just hope for recovery orbs. Sabo once again is going to be used once we get killer low because we want to use Sabo after he revives. It's actually not too bad if you just use Sabo early and then take hits after the revive because it's not like he attacks any harder after reviving. It's just that you're going to have much lower attack for the first five turns. But with a zombie team, it doesn't matter how much you attack for. It just matters how much you're going to deal to them. Uh, so this team, uh, it's, it takes a long time, obviously. You saw me skip through most of the stalling for most of the fight, doing very, very little bits of damage. But it is very, very safe and one way to do it. You don't need the Whitebeard ship at all. Uh, right here is going to be a better team. It's going to be Luffy Akainu. But the only thing is, uh, I lose this run because I did not stall properly. I did too much damage earlier on and killed things too quickly. So with the 5 plus Luffy, a guy new team, it's going to be easy to kill Kid and Killer. 
We're gonna be using Sabo once again to get things done. Smoker is here to reduce damage from killer. Remember that Smoker can't reduce the 50% health cut, but Smoker can reduce the regular attacks from Kid. If I had taken an extra turn here, instead of bursting on uh, the first available turn I did, then it would have been just fine. But what does Killer do? Killer's max attack is 1,400. His max HP is 1,800. His max recovery is just under 200. So it's just okay stats, especially for a Dex Slasher Striker. His Captain ability is alright. He boosts the attack of Slasher and Striker characters by 2 times. But if you have a matching orb, he boosts it by 2.75 times instead. And his big drawback is that he will reduce your recovery to zero. You can still heal using special abilities, or if you have a captain ability that heals, like if you use him with a um, Enel captain friend, not a very good team, but just as an example, you'll still heal. Or if you use him with a Shidohoshi friend captain, he'll still heal. It's just that any recovery orbs you use will be zero. Uh, his special ability changes strength and quick orbs on your slasher and striker characters into magic orbs and cuts the current HP of one enemy by 7%. So see here on this fight, I burst on this turn. I could have taken another turn on Kid, and I should have taken another turn on Kid, because uh, I'm not going to be able to take a hit from Killer or anything. If I took another turn on Kid there, this would have been a great fight. So Killer will preemptively cut our health on a half. Plus Lucy, Luffy will delay him for a turn. Then we'll be using our Sabo special. If you have your Gainu special available right now, you can use a Gainu special and burst down because then we'll have Sabo special available on, or you want to use Sabo next turn. So if you had a Gainu ready, ideally use a Gainu and Kuma here and burst on the first turn. Kuma will change your block orbs into matching orbs and get you a lot of matching orbs and a Gainu giving you all that sweet, sweet damage. Then on the next turn, this turn, you would use Sabo Special, finish him off if he's still alive, and then after the revive, Sabo Special is all you need to do to kill him. Uh, but here, since my Akainu Special isn't ready, I'm still able to kill him just with Kuma and Sabo Specials for the first two turns. And um, you could also use Akainu Special to kill him after the revive. So if Akainu Special were ready on any of those three turns, this would have been a successful run. I uh, just did not stall correctly and um, didn't have time to record a better run using this team. A Log Luffy Sabo team also works well, uh, but I was just having really bad luck with that run. Use any team you have available to you guys. I've been Zenigami, thank you so much for watching, and y'all stay beautiful.